All right, so in this video, I want to show you how to download the software that you're going to need to run your seed signer. I'm going to assume that um, you've got it fully assembled and that it's ready to go. And now all you need is to uh, put the software on there so you can actually run it. All right. So what you're going to need for this is you're going to need an SD card and you're going to need a laptop. Um, and you might need a couple of other programs if you don't have them already installed. So let's go ahead and get started right away. Um, on your laptop, you want to go to the Seed Signer GitHub repository. So you're going to go to github.com slash seed signer slash seed signer. It's going to bring you to this page. And on this page, you're going to have um, everything you need to know about the Seed Signer. So it's going to have some information about it um how to actually build it if you haven't built it already and then down here we have software installation so when you built your seed signer you had to choose uh, what type of raspberry pi you're going to build it with and depending on that model uh, you have to download the correct software for it so the raspberry pi that um, this seed signer is using is the 0 0.1.3. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to download this file. You can download it by just clicking on it. Okay. So that's going to go to your downloads folder. And then we want to download two more files and these will be used to verify that the software we just downloaded is, um, good and that it's not, you know, corrupted software. So we're going to click on this link here, the plain text manifest file, and then this link below, the signature of the manifest file. Okay. So now we have uh, those three files downloaded. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to verify that, um, the file we just downloaded is good. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up our terminal. And in the terminal, um, the first thing you want to do is go into your downloads directory. So you're going to type in CD space and then downloads. And once you type in part of it, you can hit the tab key to complete it. Okay, so it says CD downloads, press enter. That's gonna bring you into your downloads folder. If you wanna see what's inside of your downloads folder, you can type in LS and then space minus L. That's gonna list out all the files in here. Um, it's gonna tell you when they're downloaded and then have a list of everything. So you can see these are the three files that we just downloaded, right? Okay, and now, I want you to type in the command curl space, and then you're going to you can go back to the GitHub page and you can copy the URL here. Okay, so go ahead and copy that. Go back to terminal, paste, and then now you're gonna do a space, one of those straight bars another space and then type in gpg space dash dash import okay that's going to import the um pgp keys from seed signer and now let's go back and see what else it tells us to do now we want to verify that uh text file that we downloaded we can copy this command, paste it in terminal, press enter, and you'll notice it says it was a good signature, and then it gives you this primary key fingerprint. Okay, so if we go back here, that's what it's supposed to do, and now we have to go to keybase.io slash seed signer to verify that that key is the same. Okay, so I have that open over here. And here is that key. 
So if I just drag this over a bit, I'll be able to see that these last 16 um, characters match the last 16 characters here. Okay, so that is good. Next, we want to um, do this last command right here. Okay, we're going to copy that last command, go into the terminal, paste it, press enter, and it says okay. So there we have it. So we've, we've verified that, um, that the seed signer software we've just downloaded is all good. Um, if it wasn't good, by the way, you would get a different message. Uh, you would, for example, get a failed message. And at that point, you would know that <laughs> the software you downloaded is not good software, that it's been compromised or that it's, you know, has a bug or something. Um, and so that's where you would stop and, uh, you know, maybe contact somebody for assistance, somebody at Seed Center, okay, using their Telegram group. Um, but anyways, we verified that ours is good. So the next step is to now flash this software onto our SD card. What I want you to do is I want you to take your SD card and go ahead and put that into your SD card reader. Once you put that in, um, open up Disk Utility. What we're gonna do is we're going to wipe everything off of that SD card just to get it as a uh, clean slate, right? So open up the SD card under your external drives section. You should see it there after you've plugged it in and click on erase. Click erase again. This is gonna erase everything and then just reformat the SD card. Okay, so once that's done, now let's go ahead and let's flash the software onto the SD card. In order to do that, you're going to need to have a special, you're going to need to download a special application. Um, there's a few different options for this, but the one that Seed Signer recommends is this uh, Bellina application. So if you go to etcher.bellina.io, um, you can download it from there. So on this page, you click download etcher and then you download the one, uh, you know, for your specific operating system. I'm running a Mac, so I'm going to download that. I should go into your downloads folder, click that from the downloads. It'll open up this program and you can download or you can, sorry, drag it into applications and then go ahead and just double click on the icon to open it. Press open. And then that should open after a couple seconds here. Okay, so once that opens, you're going to uh, select flash from file. Click on that. And then here's where you uh, you open the image file that you had downloaded and verified. Press open. And now you're gonna select your target. This is where you select the SD card. So in this case, you know, I think the name is just generic mass storage class media. Um, that's the right size. So I'm, I'm sure that this is the one. Okay, it might have a different name, um, but it should be your SD card there. Select that and then click flash. You're gonna have to enter your computer's password to do this. And there you go. So now that's all finished. You can exit out of Lena. You can close this notification and you should be able to just eject that right away now from your computer. So we'll go ahead and we will eject the SD card. And let's go ahead and put it into our seat signer. So to put it into the seat signer, you're gonna do the um, golden tabs facing down. Go ahead and put that in, okay. 
should be flush if you're using this case. Um, some other cases might be different. Um, and then now you can just plug in your seat signer. So plug it into a power source. Probably best if you don't plug it in directly to your computer, just to keep it air gapped. Um, but you can go ahead and plug it into um, any power source. So directly into an outlet or into an external battery. It takes a few seconds to power up there, but you can see now the uh, seat signing software loaded um, as expected. Okay, so that's all good. After it's loaded, you can take the SD card out if you want, um, or you can just keep it in there so that uh, it, it loads easily every single time you, you know, power it off and power it back on. Um, but yeah, now that the seat signer software is on here, we can do all of the different functions, right? We can scan QRs, we can make new seeds, um, and you know, do all the different settings and tools that we want in here. Okay, so that's it. Um, some settings that I might change is I'll uh, probably turn persistent settings on. So I'll enable that. And let's see what else I would want to do. Maybe change the denomination to sats. And that's probably it. Once you're done using it, um, you can just go ahead and unplug it. It's not going to affect anything, so I'll show you. And it's just going to turn off. And if you want to turn it back on, you just plug it back in. And that's it. So now your seat signer is all ready to go. And you can start making private keys and using it to sign messages and transactions and stuff. I'll make some more tutorials on how to do that. Um, but I just wanted to keep this one a little shorter. Thanks for watching.